Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and today I want to talk to you about one of the games that me and my GTAB team is planning to release. The game is called Fantasy Run, and it's a fun fantasy runner. We're gonna release it for both Android and iOS. Just wanted to give you a walk through the game and some of the game decisions that we have made while developing it. Stay tuned, and if you like the content, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Helps us greatly. Thank you so much. First and foremost, let me show you the actual game. Uh, here we can play as various characters, and the whole idea is that you're running through the level, kill a bunch of different monsters, and um, try not to hit those road blocking objects. When you do, you will die, but as you progress through different levels, uh, you collect more loot and you can, you know, you can then buy new skins and you, you keep developing the character, you run through those levels, and it's just a fun runner game that we wanted to put out there. Um, as you can see, we have a shop going, you can get a bunch of uh, different skins and, you know, uh, open them and uncover different characters that you can play with. But besides that point, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things with relationship to why we decided to build that game and why we made certain design choices within this game as well. So let's, let's talk about that. Number one, why we made the decision to build a runner game and not something else? Well, first of all, me and my team, uh, we gave it some thought and we decided to build a runner game because every member of the team likes runner games. And this is why uh, it was a simple decision, you know, let's build a runner game build our core uh, around Unity 3D engine a little bit more and get that experience in terms of deploying games, building games and actually shipping them to the market and, you know, seeing how they play out. We also wanted to see how we can work with a publisher. Uh, we applied for the program with Voodoo Studios. The game didn't do very well in terms of CPI it was roughly over a dollar for a download, which is not the metrics that publishing uh, companies are looking for. So we have decided to ship it ourselves, you know, not just delete this game out of our vision, but still ship it and see, you know, if any players will be happy, happy to play that. So the next thing is why did we decide to build not just a runner, but the fantasy runner? Well, again, it's something that we really like. We really like games where you uh, can sort of grind and collect certain things. And we decided to kind of create it around various collectibles. Collect collectibles being different characters in this game right now. So that's the, that's the game decision that we decided to make. And then also, the main idea uh, for us, I think, was to build something for our portfolio. The next three to five projects, we want to build something really fun that we can say, hey, look, we are capable of building fun games that, you know, have some unique aspect to them, which we think Fantasy Run definitely is. I have not seen the game very similar to that on the market, I might be wrong, but doing some market research I haven't seen anything quite like that. So it's something we're very proud of, you know, building something unique and then shipping it. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is just the process of, of making the game, I guess. So, for us, uh, for all of our team members, it is important to work on something at the moment that is fairly simplistic, but then on the other side, something that we like. 
And this game genre and this specific game was just a good fit at the time for us to deliver. We wanted to expand on certain systems. Uh, we wanted to create a runner game. We wanted to create an inventory. We wanted to create a shop and we wanted to create, you know, other integrations as well. And this game was just a good fit. So if you like our content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to give this game a shot when it's out, just ping me and I'll send you the URL. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.